Austin, I know today and tomorrow are as hard as they come. I want to start by asking how you feel. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy that we've, we've come to a point where we're at, we're at 20 years. So, you know, it's, it's a big milestone. Uh, on the one hand, it feels like yesterday, but, you know, we, we, I feel like we've come, we've come a long way. Howard, what people don't realize about your company and even your industry, interdealer brokers are sort of the connective tissue of all of Wall Street, right? It's not just a business. You lost your brother, and it was friends, brothers, colleagues, college roommates. Talk to us about the lives lost and for the people who survived, what it's been like to move on. Well, we had a policy at the firm. We only wanted to work with people that we like. So we would go to each of our employees and say, look, we all have the same rainbow of friends. We've got the friends on the left, smart, capable, total winners. And the friends on the right make you laugh harder in a bar than anybody. Let's just hire all the ones on the left. And so we all hired these great people. And, and they hired great people. And so we, were, we weren't one big happy family. We were just tight, tight group of people. And, and so to lose all of those people. So I, not only did I lose my brother, I lost my best friend. I lost my other best friend's brother-in-law. I mean, we all worked together. And so that's why Cana Fitzgerald just pulled together to take care of the families of those we lost. And imagine uh, that I've got Austin standing next to me, right? We worked with his, his dad, Al. His dad, by the way, was like much bigger than him <laughs> and had big hair, you know? And I'm like, what happened to you? Like, you know, you're like my size, you know, it's not the same. But I mean, think of how amazing that is to have Austin uh, at Cannon Fitzgerald, that means his mom loves the company. That means he loves the company. I mean, uh, you know, what's better than that? Austin, what is that like for you to be surrounded by people who knew and loved your dad? You lost him when you were such a young boy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it's a great feeling. And when I was coming out of, of college and you know, deciding where I wanted to work, I, I, I couldn't think of a better place, you know, to feel like a second home to me and, and I'm in my comfort zone and it's been great going on five years now, a little bit more. Howard. All right, so Austin is a healthcare banker. He's a healthcare banker. His dad was an IT guy, total tech guy, right? And now he's breaking away from that. He's a healthcare banker. canner has got a great healthcare banking franchise and Austin's sort of part of it. And I love, I love the, you know, we give them the opportunity to grow and shine and uh, it's, it's really the best for us. It's not just Austin, Howard. Over the years, you've hired 60 what you call legacy brokers like Austin. Why is it important for you to hire them, to keep them in the Cantor family, right? It's not a business with corner offices. I'm looking behind you, a trading floor. You're sitting six, ten inches away from the man or woman next to you. It's a family. Correct, and it's a family. And we, look, we, we love their dads and moms. We, we knew them really well. Uh, we've we built a great connection with, you know, their widows and widowers. And so the ability to have, uh, you know, these family members. So I was, I was walking around the trading floor, and I, and I saw, uh, you know, Sarah Dwyer, just a, a, a great young woman. She's on our, uh, you know, she trades high-grade uh, corporates. And, uh, you know, her dad was a rock star in equities for us. I mean, it's just these are wonderful young people who, who we love and we're going to care for and we're going to give them the opportunities they want for their careers to grow and flourish. And what a great honor for us. The best way to show someone you loved uh, who died is to love the people that they loved. And, and Cannon Fitzgerald, we, we just feel the best about that. Amen to that. Austin, before I let you go, besides his hair, what do you want people to know about your father, Al? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Just that he had a really big personality, he liked to make people laugh, you know, he really loved the people that he worked with and really, you know, had, had a great experience at Canner, you know, I'm glad I'm following in his footsteps here, um, yeah. His dad was a great guy, what, just full of personality, full of life, fantastic person, we loved him. Howard, I know you are a, a, a force, you're a personality, but, but tell us. What has this been like for you, these 20 years? You are carrying so much. 
Well, imagine, you know, I had only worked 18 years at the company when 9-11 happened, and I thought that was my life, and now it's been 20 years since then. So I've really worked at this company longer. We've, we've built the company, but we've tried to keep the families, and we've tried to keep the, you know, the memory of 9-11 deeply inside of us, and, and it's a part of us. It doesn't define us, but it's a part of us. We're over 12,000 employees now. You know, the, the interdealer brokerage business, BGC Partners, is public and flourishing. We have new markets which is public and flourishing. And, you know, and Cana Fitzgerald, it's just, we are uh, a force because we, we are human beings. We understand what pain is like, and we try to take care of other people with our charity day, which is today. So today, all the people behind us have, have waived their day's pay. They're all, every penny of every piece of business we do today is going to charity. Last year, we raised uh, just under 12 million, I'm hoping. I'm hoping if we can get people to do business with us and get a little more done, hopefully we'll raise 12 million bucks today.